The recent updates to the Golf Range do little to change our impression of the GTE. The extra cabin tech is beneficial if a little tricky to use, while the same again styling is unlikely to disappoint. The GTE is no hot hatchback, however, but it still impresses around town. If your lifestyle allows, it could be fantastically cheap to run. Of the circuit 200,000 cars VW sold in the UK last year, nearly 77,000 were Golfs. Despite the rise of the SUV, it's still the brand's most popular model here. Almost all were sold with straightforward petrol or diesel engines, with only a small fraction of them going for electric or, like in the Golf GTE Dash Hybrid Power. It might not be a huge seller, but VW's UK team are hoping the GTE will rise to around 10% of total Golf sales by the end of this year. The government isn't going to make that easy, though, from April, the GTE, like most plug-in hybrids, will go from being tax-exempt, to costing £130 annually after the first year. Still, a company car user would still benefit from lower rates, and tax avoidance isn't the only reason to buy the hybrid Golf. Many will be swayed by the promise of up to 156 miles per gallon. 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds, and a 20 mile all electric range. Like other 2017 Wii Golfs, most of the updates are visual, and even those are verging on unnoticeable. There are new LED headlights with the familiar blue strip neatly integrated into the lenses, as well as revised bumpers front and rear and lightly tweaked tail lamps. VW claims the design changes are slight so that owners of the current model don't feel shortchanged, but that means there's little incentive for them to trade up, either. Thankfully, there's more to talk about inside. As standard, the GTE now comes with an 8-inch sat-nav and infotainment system, 2 inches larger than before, but our test car came with the new 1,325 pounds Discover Pro system. It gets a 9.2-inch screen voice control, a 64 GB hard drive and 3 years subscription to VW's CarNet online services. It's also the brand's first model to come fitted with gesture control, with a left or right swipe of the hand allowing you to change the radio station, 